What's up guys, this is Dark Cloud here. Welcome back to the next episode of the Pokemon Omega Red Nuzlocke. And in the last episode, we somehow made it through the Sevi Isles for the most part, and found a lot of interesting things in there. But, uh, unfortunately, we did end up losing a crucial member to our team in the last few episodes, so let me go ahead and introduce my new med tank here. He's on level 27. He's got the clear body with takedown pursuit and miracle eye. Uh, I'm not going to worry about training him up at the moment because training him up to 60 levels sounds just terrible. So instead, we're just going to run it right to the next gym, 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 gym. Because I think I can just go right in. Yep. And, um,. Is that not the right way to go? Maybe I go over here? Okay, well that allowed me not to fight that guy, I guess. Uh, you definitely have to fight that guy. He has fighting types. That's interesting. That move looked way stronger than it actually was. Now I'm kind of curious what kind of gem this actually is. Hey, stop. Cat and the dog are messing around with each other. Looks like I just have to basically fight a bunch of trainers. I don't really have to worry about the whole um, spinning tile thing. And I went ahead and, since I haven't been doing it, I updated the, uh, see this guy actually has ground types. I updated the, um, Nuzlocke journal with, uh, all the recent, like, static mon we've been getting. Rock Ruff. This actually looks like a Rock Ruff. I know in my, um, cage lock that I'm doing right now with, uh, Killer Dark Rye, the Rock Ruffs do not look like Rock Ruffs. I have low roll that psychic. Actually might have killed if I high rolled. And the needle queen. Wow. Oh, they're level 84 in here. Well, we're gonna have a fun time then. That's what I'm seeing. What you doing? Okay, so even the trainers are higher level to me right now. So I'm gonna have to really play this smart in order to actually win. That's Simeon. The only thing that really sucks is it seems like a lot of trainers in here have fighting type on. Which, which hurt a lot of my team. Definitely safer to just stay in Valentine right now. Okay, win for three. We're good. Okay, well, I mean, looks like I can just leave now, and if I come back, then that guy will be moved out of the way. So, I think I'm going to lead Charmed and save my Venusaur, because if I can. I'd like to toxic his last one or two, and if I'm too weak, I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay. We made it to him and barely battled any of his trainers. Okay. I'll definitely take that out. Okay. Oh, I should have just like, set up on it. That's what I should have done. Tyranitar. Got this guy uppercut on Valentine. It's definitely not what I wanted to see. Nice. 
Crocodile. I feel like this bulkiness will really help here. So I think the play is to... No, I'm gonna two-shot this thing, like, if I energy ball it, so it's way safer to just energy ball it. Or one shot, even though its special defense is raised. Ooh, bullet punch. Yeah, yeah we'll take that. Um, let's just go ahead and forget takedown. Guard chomp. We got nine tails for that. We're all good there. This should one shot. It did, in fact, one shot. That's the only time I've literally ever missed Aurora Beam. And it was in the most crucial time. So I know he has Fire Fang now. Sending out Venusaur is not safe. He has Sand Veil. so many healing items to beat this thing, but I think it's still possible. I'm gonna have to set up two calm mines. I'm gonna have to go for it. Okay, slash, it's fine. It's actually what I'd rather do. Okay. And Rhyperior. I should be able to take that out. Okay. And Nido King. Okay. And there is the last gym badge. Please tell me it's actually Earthquake, because if they did not give me Earthquake for that dumb battle... I can't believe Fire Fang just one-shotted Ninetales. Really dumb. Like, a War Beam 100% would have one-shotted. I definitely did not anticipate him having Fire Fang for one, though. Definitely surprised to see that move come out, and I'm pretty sure. No, it's, it's, is it resisted? I don't actually remember. No, be neutral if anything. Alright. Who takes the place of Nine Tails? Lapras is there, but I don't think that's the best idea. I have a lot of choices, but I don't feel like any of them quite fit what I need. There's a lot of duplicate typing in here. I really want to pick Type Null right there, but I don't think he's going to have a good move set. I have Fire, Water, Grass. A Psychic Type definitely would not be bad, so like I really want to go over there and pick Mime Jr. to have a Mr. Mime. Because it's a fairy too. Um, let me look how to evolve Mr. Mime real quick, because I actually don't remember. <laughs> I 
I think his evolution is probably like friendship or something like that, which I don't really want to deal with, but I might do it for this. No, he learns Mimic, okay. I could probably do that. Does he even have it yet? It's soundproof. He does, so all I have to do is level him up once. Okay, I mean, that's fairly easy. Um, so, my plan actually for the rest of this episode was going to be to um, go back to the Sevi Isles and uh, look at those ultra wormholes so, like, everyone gets not comfort, I guess satisfaction in knowing what was in them. So, I feel like I'm still gonna just do that, because that sounds like a fun thing to do right now. I actually really want to take out a mon that can learn fly for a second. That is one thing that I very, very much missed out on. Because I just had to run around this entire region all game long. Very annoying. Do you get to the Sevi Isles by um, going to Vermilion? Is that what it is? Like, you'd, they just take you on the boat? Okay. Okay, so I'm on Island 1 right now. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go after the birds, because I, I already know what those are, along with the uh, uh, red eyes. I kind of want something that's like, something I don't know what it is, because like, if I just go and catch legends for no reason, then I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm probably just not gonna use them. But I want the uh, excitement of not knowing what I'm gonna get on the wormholes. Which reminds me that I actually will need to have a mon that knows cut in order to get to those. I want to make sure that uh, Mime Jr. evolves here soon. So I can actually, while I'm already here, I might as well go ahead and give it a few moves. Let's give it Aura Sphere. I can't learn Aura Sphere. I can learn Scald. No. I can learn Calm Mind. Can learn calm mind. Let's go and give it calm mind. Uh, let's go ahead and forget and meditate. You don't really learn physical moves that are helpful. Can you learn an energy ball? No. Can you learn blizzard? No. Can you learn psychic? Hope you can learn psychic. Get double slap for that. Underway would be good. Uh, no? Maybe Dark Pulse? No. Maybe when you evolve you can learn a few more things, because I feel like there are moves you should be able to learn that you're not. Let me give you Thunder Wave. Just if nothing else, I can use it to stall out people. Okay guys, here we go. First Ultra Wormhole right here. We are going to stick our arms deep inside it. I don't know what that noise was. Yeah, it's a Tornadus. Tor tornadus. Um, I might be able to hit with an energy ball. I can. 
did it say speed goes up or went down? Because I don't know an ability to make it go down, but I know he, I guess he could have speed boost. Hold on. He does backed up speed boost. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, I can't damage him anymore. I guess I'm just gonna kinda start throwing balls at it. That's one thing that like not having Felix really does kill me with. Got a lot of good moves. Launch up. Oh, it actually shook. Luna. Go lay down. I've been recording for a while, so it's not surprising they're getting a little antsy at this point. I think I'm just gonna switch out. Um, I have actually super effective moves against most of my team. Ooh, that's two shakes, I think. Uh, you know. One other thing I'm going to do is, I think I'm just going to toxic him, and if I catch him, I catch him. If I don't, I don't. Okay, he critted me again. That still does a lot without a crit. I really hope he does not crit me right now. And no, I do not think this is worth my Master Ball. I'm gonna throw it. If I have to grind, I have to grind. Okay. So we didn't get him... I mean... Alright. That's a... that's a darn it. We'll try... The next one. I might just throw the Master Ball at it, but I might not, because I think there probably will be something in, like, Victory Road or something like that. Like, I feel like, honestly, if I were to throw my Master Ball at anything, I probably would have thrown it at that, uh, Giratina. But I didn't have it yet, so, you know. What are you gonna do? I think there used to actually be something up here. Hold on. No, I'm healed. We're good. Huh. Top of Fini. I'm gonna hit with a Psychic, see what happens. Alright. I'm gonna try to Surf. Oh, Lift! It has a bunch of Water-type moves, so I'm just absorbing them all. Which I'm definitely down for. Refresh, so that's muddy water, refresh, hydro pump. So as far as I know right now, it actually can't hit me. Oh my goodness. I don't know what that was, but it's a game like just glitched out. I gotta catch it in one of these, right? Like, I don't need to hit it with a status condition. I know I'm just kinda like wasting these balls right now, because I'm probably not gonna use the top of Fini, but still. I almost caught it on that one. Brine. Brine's this other move, and it's just like. Just not like it using Brine for some reason. Says all water type moves and refresh, so having something with water absorb is completely shutting it down. Man, it does not like using Brine. I've gotta catch this right? 
The only difference, I think, between me catching this and catching the mana fee was I inflicted it with a status condition. But I'm so high level now at this point that it was hard to even get it in the red. Oh, come on. I think this thing's gonna end up struggling, to be honest. Yeah, it's gonna struggle. Fortunately, I'm not gonna get this. I. Because I'm just not willing to throw the Master Ball like. Oh, okay. Oh. Color me impressed. Um. I'm gonna call this thing Model. Because in. Um. A recent episode of Cage Lock that went up. Oh, cool. I love falling. Um. My the thumbnail in it like has a topofini and it looks like it looks like it's modeling. It looks like it's like posing for you. Okay, I'm gonna speed that up. I get it, he evolved. Which is sweet, because now I have pretty good fairy psychic type here. And now I don't have to worry about holding on to mimic, which I'll probably replace with hopefully a fairy type move he will learn. Okay, so there you go, guys. Uh, I found out what was any Ultra Warm Balls at the very least. And those are probably going to be the last ones that I do end up finding, unless I find one in Victory Road randomly. Which I definitely could see happening. I do actually want to check out that top of Feeny if I can. Um. Am I missing it? Oh, there it is. Battle armor, that's pretty solid. Good stats. Yep, all water type moves. Oh wait, I need my... Wait, can I just fly out of here? I don't think I can. Continue box operations. Yeah, because so I still need to fly back to Viridian. Okay, yeah. So I, can just... I can just ride the boat back, and here we go. And let me get my other mons back. So pretty much my goal right now is to get through Victory Road and then I'll grind up the other two members of the team. Which I now I'm realizing both are psychic types. Oh well. Yes, I did know this was gonna happen, just in case you guys were worried. another thing I probably should just set up on. I really gotta think about that more, because I feel like that's a pretty good way to win these battles. That's an Electivire. I think I have Earthquake, but he's not high enough level yet. Uh, I'm gonna need Venus to work for that Blast Toys. An Outrage should be able to take it out. He's two. Please don't paralyze. Thank you. Encore, no. Galley. Ah, oh, man. Charm's my best bet for this, too. That's super scary. I'm dead, aren't I? Oh my goodness. Okay, we take those. I need to full restore really badly. Okay. 
Oh my goodness. Charm is my fastest. But I need a turn to be able to heal. I should have just stayed in with Charm. Chestnut. There was no way I could throw in Charlie because I knew he had close combat and I was going to one shot. Okay, we're fine. Even if he used anything, he was dead anyways. Okay, this Blastoise coming out now. Coming in handy. Can only choose one. Okay, there's Blastoise. So throwing out Charmed is my best bet now. So I'll just use Max Potion, heal up all the way, and see what it's gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and set up on this. set up here. And I still didn't one-shot this thing. There's three calm mines. And then he randomly has a rock rock. That is not fitting for his team. Okay, um... I thought I was gonna be able to make it through there with just a team of three or four, but a team of three is too risky. I really want to grab that Snorlax. But I feel like a grass type would really, has really helped me. Brailing I think is out of the question because that quad weakness just doesn't work. But I don't think I have any other really good grass types. I think I'm gonna take the Snorlax. And I'm just, uh. That Mudkip does not belong in there. Yeah, I, just, I can't, I can't, like, these three are not going to make it all the way through Victory Road together. But if I grind up these other three, then I think I'll have a chance. So because of the grinding, I'm going to have to end right here, like, I, I can't go through Victory Road. Um... So we're going to end it here, um, so I guess you'll see the new and improved team on Friday whenever we uh, get back together and I'll do the team recap then. So then I'll go through Victory Road and then we'll just have the league. So we got like three, four episodes left in this series, so show the love guys. Show the love and like let's get through this game. See you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.